I enlisted with my parents' consent when I was 16 years old. And I was given the privilege of choosing the station that I wanted to serve. So I chose Hawaii. On the morning of December the 7th, 1941, I heard this horrible little explosion. And I ran to the back door of this mess hall and I looked up the street where I had heard the noise. And I could see the debris from two hangars, number seven and number nine. And I thought an aeroplane had blown up in the hangar. And then I see asphalt kicking up on the tarmac, coming straight at me. And this Japanese Zero had to pull up to miss the electrical wires. This guy was about 20 feet off of the surface of the ground. And I looked up and I saw this damn red ball there and that damn pilot's looking down at me smiling. And I'm out in the wide open looking at all these planes flying around, bombs dropping, machine gun fire going. Some guy reaches out from under the edge of an eve of a building, wooden building, and he cursed at me, pulled me under. Get out of here, you're gonna get killed, you idiot. I was told to take my truck and go up to Hangar Avenue and do what I could to help where, wherever I was needed. Some guy come running out, flagged me down, and it turned out he was a medic. Well, he and I spent the next three or four hours picking up the wounded and the dead. When you see people you know, legs missing, uh, faces blown apart, uh, it gets pretty traumatic. I don't think Heller is full of BS is uh, the way I would put it. I think he's an honest man. I think he speaks the truth. Uh, he has shown through his actions in, in, in the Senate. And uh, I put all my faith in him and I think a, a good number of the veterans do too because he's done so much for us. And I think Dean Hillary is one that does what he says he'll do. And I think he always will.